look at what happens when you have, what the trends are when you look at um, atoms. Now let's see what happens when we have ions. So remember ions, you're gaining or losing electrons, and, which is going to change the size. So there's a lot going on in this picture here. Um, so first just focus on the these yellow spheres here. Those are, that's the parent atom, right? That's neutral. And so you can see we already looked at this trend to go from down a group, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium. As you're going down, it's getting bigger and bigger because you're gaining a whole other you know, row of electrons. Um, and then as you go across, it's getting smaller. We already talked about that trend. Now we can compare um, cations, right? So to go from lithium, if I remove an electron, this is what happens. It gets smaller. You can see the um, Ion, the cation, right, the positive charge ion, is always smaller than the uh, parent atom. And that's because now you just got rid of an electron. Electrons are what, are what makes the, um, the atom kind of spread out. So electrons are repelling each other because right, they're all negative. If you get rid of one, of one, then you can kind of pull everything in a little bit tighter. And so it makes the atom a little smaller because now you have more positive charge um, compared to the negative charge, right? So your positive nucleus can pull in those electrons a little bit tighter. Um, the opposite's happening with the anions, right? If you gain electrons, you gain electrons, now it's going to get bigger. So the more electrons you gain, here I'm gaining two electrons, that's one, this guy gained two. So everybody over here is a little bigger than on that side. So the more electrons you gain, um, the bigger the atom's going to be. And then again, because the electrons now are fighting each other, they're going to spread out a little bit. I always think about this as like when, whenever I'm babysitting and my friend's like, oh, could you just watch my kid while, while I go to the bathroom for the aquarium or something? And now all of a sudden I have way too many kids and they start fighting and they spread out and they're getting further and further away from me. So I was like this and now I'm watching too many kids so they, they spread out. So the more, yes, yeah, so of course I, I call the kids their electrons. <laughs> they're little clouds of negativity right there. So they're going to spread out a little bit when you gain electrons and everything gets a little bit closer tighter when you um, lose electrons so cations get smaller and anions get bigger but if you look at you know, from cation to cation to cation in the same row they has the same trend as the the parent atom right increases as you go down because again you're you're gaining another row of electrons when you go from lithium plus to sodium plus uh, the same trend is there for the anions as well. So as you as you compare things in the same row, whether it's the parent atom or it's the um, the ion, it's going to get bigger as you go down that row. Row, column as you yep as you go down. Um, so let's let's look at a couple of these. So you can compare things that are in the same um, family. You can compare ions to their parent ions. You can't make all kinds of comparisons, but we can we can try to answer these questions. So can we arrange these in order of decreasing radius? So let's compare. We have magnesium plus calcium, magnesium two plus calcium two plus, and calcium atom. So we can compare these two, right? We can compare cation to cation, and then we can also compare the cation and the parent atom. So calcium. Let's, let's do this one first. So calcium to calcium plus. When you remove electrons, you're going to get smaller. So we right away we know that calcium two plus is smaller than calcium. And then what else do we have? Magnesium and calcium. So if we look in this table, magnesium it, and I suppose you don't have that table, but you have the periodic table. Let's go back to how we'll look in the periodic table. Right, you have magnesium is higher than calcium. So you know that calcium is bigger than magnesium. So calcium two plus is bigger than magnesium two plus. Right, so we said calcium 2 plus is bigger than magnesium 2 plus. So they wanted these in decreasing order. We just flip that around. Calcium is bigger than calcium 2 plus, right? That makes sense because I got rid of some electrons, so this guy gets smaller. And calcium is bigger than uh, magnesium just because it's of where it's placed in the periodic table. You can make some more comparisons using the, um, the anions as well. So can we compare? Sulfur 2 minus, right? So we can compare sulfur 2 minus and, and oxygen, the oxide ion, and then sulfur and um, the sulfide ion. So we know that what? So when you add, um, add electrons, it gets bigger. The atom's going to get bigger. So sulfur 2 minus is bigger than sulfur, right? The sulfide ion is bigger than sulfur. And then what about sulfur and oxygen? So you go back to the periodic table and oxygen. It's higher in the table than sulfur, so sulfur is bigger than oxygen. So S2 minus is bigger than O2 minus. 
S2 minus is bigger than O2 minus. So which one's the largest? It's going to be the S2 minus ion. The sulfide ion is the biggest. And you can come over here and compare these pictures as well. Right, so there's a difference between sulfur atom and sulfide ion and oxide ion. So you can see this is bigger. You're not always going to have this chart, right? So you can't just be like, why do I have to memorize these trends? I'll always have this chart. You will like never have this chart again. Um, so you want to know those trends. So what are the trends again? If you make an, um, an ion, if you're getting a cation, the cations get smaller. The anion, if you're gaining an electron, it's going to get bigger than the parent atom. As you go down a row, as you go down the column, um, the atoms and the ions also get bigger, whether it's a cation or an anion or just an atom. They always get bigger as you go down that column. So make sure you do a couple homework problems like that.